for ID Clary Thumb War. Oh, well this is embarrassing. Welcome to the Bahamonde Lab. We're gonna take some time to show you what we do around here. Today we're going to show you how we use light and mild conditions to form new chemical bonds. First I'm going to show you guys how we can couple two organic molecules together through the use of light, a photocatalyst, and nickel. Normally this kind of chemical reaction requires greatly elevated temperatures, but in our lab we're learning how we can harness light in order to allow these chemical reactions to occur. First, we need to weigh out the chemicals needed for this reaction. This yellow compound is the photocatalyst. It can absorb the energy from blue light, producing what is called an excited state. The excited photocatalyst acts as an electron shuttle. It can donate an electron to the nickel catalyst, or it can accept an electron from the nickel catalyst. This cycle allows the nickel to form carbon-nitrogen bonds between organic molecules. Solids are added to the reaction through a cone, while nitrogen flows in through the sidearm, preventing moisture from entering the reaction flask. After all the ingredients are added, the reaction flask is lowered into a temperature-controlled water bath that helps the reaction to stay cool in front of the hot and intense blue light source. This methodology allows us to form amide bonds under very mild conditions, and this is important because amides are present in many of the most commonly prescribed drugs. Typically, amide bond formation relies on the use of palladium, which is rare and expensive. However, this reaction uses nickel as a catalyst, which is cheap, earth abundant, and is much less environmentally destructive. After 24 hours, the blue light is shut off and the reaction is filtered and evaporated. The compound is dry loaded onto a silica column, as shown. The column allows us to separate the desired product from the other organic compounds in the reaction mixture. Pressure is applied through the top of the column forcing the organic compounds through the silica layer to be collected in test tubes. The compounds are separated based on their polarity. Because silica is polar, the more polar compounds stick to the silica and move through the column slowly. The nonpolar compounds do not interact very much with the silica and move through the column quickly, appearing in the earlier test tubes. The test tubes containing the amide product are combined and evaporated using this rotovap instrument, which efficiently removes the solvent used in the column. Finally, the product is hooked up to a vacuum line to remove any residual solvent. You can see the product in this vial here, appearing as a small amount of a white solid. Thank you to the following sponsors for your support.